Hello everyone. In this INR number 67, we are going to discuss about a very important uh, infection called as Cryptococcus neoformis. So what happens uh, in the Cryptococcus neoformis? They are the only pathogenic yeast, right? And where they will be found? They will be found in the soil, pigeon droppings and eucalyptus tree, right? So you can see that these uh, these are the cryptococcus neoformans and they can be present in pigeon droppings in the eucalyptus tree and from here they will be inhaled inside the lungs of the human being right and then they will be staying in the alveoli so first they will be causing pneumonia then they will have hematogenous spread and after hematogenous spread they will reach to the brain and when they will reach to the brain, they will be causing cryptococcal meningitis. So usually cryptococcal meningitis is seen in immunocompromised individuals, right? So this is the, uh, you know, this is this life cycle of the cryptococcus. So from the soil and uh, pigeon droppings, eucalyptus, it will be coming to the lungs. First, it will be coming to the lungs and most commonly it will be coming to the lungs only. Then hematogenous spread will be going to the brain causing meningitis in immunocompromised individuals, right? So it has a polysaccharide capsule. Remember, they are pathogenic yeast and they will be having polysaccharide capsule. So there are four types of, uh, you know, capsular serotypes, which we will we'll see in this. They are, they are named as A, B, C and D, right? So what is their significance in immunocompromised infections? Remember, immunocompromised. For example, if I'm saying cryptococcal meningitis is immunocompromised in AIDS patient. So it will be by type A. So you can remember like this type A in AIDS right immunocompromised so that is what we can remember pigeon dropping bird dropping right so we are seeing pigeon droppings pigeon dropping will be having a and d both right and eucalyptus tree will be having subtype b right most of the infection of the cryptococci most of the infection of the cryptococcus neoformans they will occur in the lungs mostly they will be occurring in the lungs that is why i was telling you mostly from here it will go into the lungs and they will be causing pneumonia right so most of the infection will be coming into the lungs they will be causing cryptococcosis and they will be manifesting with pneumonia, pneumonia then meningitis encephalitis and all these things will be showing as a complications right so when you are going to see them this will be on biopsy remember this is on the biopsy you will see the soap bubble lesion in the brain right i will show you that biopsy right so now you understood so cryptococcus neoformans is a pathogenic yeast from the bird dropping and eucalyptus it will go to the lung most commonly immunocompromised will have meningitis and when you are going to see them on histopathology they will be showing you soap bubble lesions right so now you understand so how we are going to do the diagnosis of the cryptococcus so cryptococci diagnosis what culture media we can use so same that sda saburo dextrose agar we can use so when you are using the saburo dextrose agar how is the colony you can see colonies are looking cream colored is smooth and mucoid right so cream colored is smooth and mucoid colony on sda agar and when you are going to see them on bird seed agar which is also called as cafe k seed agar or niger seed agar so on niger seed agar see the name niger is a hint for us right niger means black color right so this will be developing brown to black color because of the presence of melanin Right. So now I understood. So what are the two culture media for cryptococci, saborite dextrose agar and bird seed agar or cafe acid agar or niger seed agar. Right. And then we will do the staining part. So in staining, we are going to see there are two things we are going to uh, observe. One is the CSF fluid, the smear. So on CSF fluid or smear, we will apply the negative stain. And remember, what is the best negative stain is the India ink stain. So negative staining by India ink stain or nigrosin stain. These are the two negative stain we are going to use on the CSF smear, the fluid. Fluid which we have collected on that, remember on that, on the fluid, not on the tissue biopsy. So why we call this as a negative staining? why we call this as a negative staining so india ink preparation so remember organism which you will see will be unstained so now you can see organism is unstained right organism is not stained whereas background is stained background you can see they are stained organism is unstained so that is why negative staining right now when examiner ask you on tissue biopsy what is the best special stain you understand when examiner says on smear what is the best one india ink stain and on tissue biopsy what is the best special stain that is the music carmine stain so in tissue biopsy when you will see the he stain remember this is the he stain 
so in H E stain what we are seeing so H E stain you can see there are so many so bubble appearance were observed so H E stain so bubble appearance was observed so what we have done again so we have used the music carmine stain so what will happen on music carmine stain so this is the music carmine stain best special stain for the fungal for the cryptococci right so here you will see red capsular polysaccharide will be there and that is why it is the best special stain for cryptococci so now you can see these are the red color capsular polysaccharide which we can observe by music carmine stain right so now in staining we have to be very careful what examiner is asking if examiner is saying that csf smear you have to remember negative staining india ink is the best but when examiner says tissue biopsy or histopathological examination then your answer should be music carmine stain will be the best one where you will see the red color of the muco polysaccharide right so this is the capsular polysaccharide right what will be the confirmatory test see diagnostic test we have done we have done the bird seed agar and then we have the, seen the SDS abroad dextrose agar then we have seen the smear by India ink preparation then we have seen the biopsy and now to confirm this we will be using the latex agglutination test and latex agglutination test will detect the polysaccharide capsular antigen so that capsular antigen that capsular polysaccharide will be identified by latex agglutination test and what should be the treatment treatment will be the combination of amphotericin b and flucytosin right so amphotericin b and flucytosin and if there is a cryptococcal meningitis then it will be followed by flucanozole right so this will be the treatment so keep revising these topic for your exam and i'm telling you you are going to get question in your neat pg and fmg exam from this topic best wishes for your exam